What a night at Xfinity Center. Maryland gives up 110 points to Iowa, loses 110 to 87. And uh, th this is way too close to a football postgame show where you go, this is supposed to be a basketball school. If there were 4,000 people here for the last eight minutes, it was a lot. And I know they already fired the coach, and I know you're not going to fire the, assist, the uh, interim coach, but my goodness, this was an embarrassment. And this is the big dog postgame show, and anybody who was here as a Maryland fan has to leave here shaking their head because this team is not 40 points worse than Iowa despite what the scoreboard said. Now, it was a good crowd. They booed a little bit at halftime. Maryland, although played well, down 17 at the half and certainly didn't get any better from there. Uh, as I've said before, in these situations, I have to, A, watch what I say because this is a college basketball game and it, it is not, uh, not as important as we make it sometime. But this is a basketball school. The biggest ovation of the night until they emptied the bench was for Lonnie Baxter as he walked up the steps to my left. That was 20 years ago when that was really relevant. Um, on the good side, the bench, once they got in the game, looked like they cared. Guys like Andrew McCool, uh, Marcus Dockery, I still can't figure why he doesn't play more, but he has that spark and that energy and that spirit. Pavo Zubia. Um, and now I can't remember the kid's name, number 15. It'll come to me later. Uh, not the greatest basketball players in the world, but they play hard. The crowd actually got into it as Maryland hit three after three after three to narrow the gap to only 30. This is the fastest I've seen the score come off of the scoreboard uh, in, in my 20 years in this building. Uh, we will be back after this message from Rick Jacklich and Maryland wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. Hi, I'm Maryland wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jacklich Law Group. Find out why clients, judges, and other lawyers call us the big dogs from the small firm and why we've been named the best personal injury trial law firm in the entire country, as well as why the Daily Record Maryland's legal newspaper has named the Jacklitz Law Group the very best, best personal injury trial firm and best civil litigation firm in the entire state. Every single lawyer at the Jacklitz Law Group was honored by best lawyers in America. Hiring the Jacklitz Law Group was the best decision anyone in my family has ever made, other than my decision to play football at the University of Maryland. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, Listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. I'm Wayne Viner from Viner Foregates. We make your company work. I'm Arthur Smith with Viner Foregates. Two-factor authentication is a must-have in today's world. Security training for your company is a must. The crooks are getting smarter. We have to give you the edge to fight back. This is Wayne Viner, still on the floor at Xfinity Center, where Iowa uh, threw a three-point party. Jordan Bohannon, who as a freshman had a, an earth-shattering game here when Iowa beat Maryland, what now was five years ago. He had 30 points, did Bohannon, with, with eight minutes to go. He was, as Mark Turge would say, uh, we won't say that, but he was terrific. Uh, number 15 is Simon Wright. He's pay, played a few minutes here for Maryland, but he comes out and he gives the effort, so I apologize for forgetting his name a moment ago. Now back to the rant. You can't have this at a basketball school. There's not much more to say. I could go on for this for five minutes. I don't know why or what happened that the kids actually stopped playing. When out here in October watching them get ready for the season. I thought these were kids who would actually play for each other as much as they were going to play for Maryland, that they really wanted to be together. Uh, they might be a fine collection of parts, but they don't make a team. And we can go over what's wrong with this club. I have hung my hat as a Maryland fan for most of the season, the fact they play hard. 
and at some level tonight that's stopped. So, hey, you go to Purdue on Super Bowl Sunday. I think that game's at 1 o'clock on Sunday. You come back here for Ohio State for the celebration of it's been 20 years since Maryland won the national championship. They might not win those games, but I would like to see and like to say as a Terrapin that they played hard. So we're not going to kill them too much tonight. It's probably enough. We have lacrosse to celebrate. Maryland Loyola Saturday. It's supposed to be 60 degrees. A great day for a lacrosse game. Maryland looks legit. This should be fun. I'm Wayne Viner for Bruce Posner, who's off camera. Uh, for Miss Connie, acting as the camera person tonight. For all you Terp fans, as we've said before, we'll keep doing this as long as they keep playing. Maryland falls 110-87 to 87 at home to Iowa this evening.